All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, one and all, please, please, to an amazing game I like to call Tropico. This is one of my all-time favorite games. Clearly, it's amazing because of the music. Also, you get to play a dictator of a tropical island. It's great for a shortish, quick game. I think shortish, quick is like, what, two, three, four hours? Anyways. <laughs> all right. Let's get right down to it. Set starting population to 40. Set this starting population to 30. I want to see 30. Let's see how that goes down. Excuse me. This is fine. Average island. No special circumstance. Place in history. Political stability. Yes, we can set to hard. Hard. Random events. Little bit less. Game length. Uh, uh, 50 years is fine. Now. Who will we be? How about Lou Bega? The pop singer. Overall respect, relations with the US, tourism rating and nightclub rating, plus 50. I like that. I want a high tourism rating so we get lots of tourists. That's gonna be the whole thing. I want a ho hotel corporate buyout. We're going for a tourist game, almost purely here. Lots of relations with the US, lots of relations with the capitalists. Um, now, if we are going for tourism, um, uh, yes. Well traveled and sociable. Ooh. Let's go for well traveled. Because I'm going to be a classy son of a gun. And I'm going to be filled with. Eh. I like the idea of diplomat at the beginning. Honestly, it's one of my favorite. But. Let's be honest, Administrator is even better. That is one of the best ones. Minus 10% building cost, plus education. You really can't go wrong with it. Flaws. Now, am I a womanizer? Yes. Yes, I am. Is that good? Yes, it is. Minus 10% respect of all women. Like, I don't need their respect. It's okay, guys. I know this isn't politically correct, but I'm on a tropical island. Nothing about this is politically correct. Um, cowards. I'm not expecting any military crap, so... Let's go coward. That's honestly, I love that one. Because I, it's never a problem for me. So what do we get? Religious faction doesn't like me. Militarists don't like me. <sighs> Where's the women? The women don't like me. But the overall respect is plus five, so that balances out a little bit. Eh. It's okay. 50% tourism rating. Let's party. Oh, there we go. Slight lag. That's okay. All right. Step one: establish how life is gonna work. Now, I deliberately chose uh, 30 because you start with as many farms as as like tens, right? Whatever. How many people you start with, divide by 10 for how many farms you get. Three farms is good. I wanted less so I can just customize the island more. Um, what I'm going to want to do here this is very important. Work with me here. Oh, there it is. It's hiding. Uh, there we go. Okay, the construction office. Your single most important building, folks. Um, now, we're going to have this where tourists come in. Okay? I get a hotel at the very beginning, so let's go right for it. Let's plop that hotel down. Um... If this is where our food is going to be coming from, and I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that, um, then we're going to need to establish everything else this way slightly. I don't think I'm going to want to do mining. Yeah, see, there's no minerals near us anyways. No, I'm perfectly happy going for a tourist economy. That's what I'm building on here. So, step one. This is kind of my always step one, and I think it's very important. It's a bummer that there's hills there. Ugh. There's really no flat ground, unfortunately. Anyways, um, step one is to build bunkhouses or a tenement. Uh, the bunkhouses come up quicker, which is why I like that. So, let's go with the bunkhouses. Three bunkhouses there. Two there. Mm-hmm. Um, we're gonna want to place a marketplace. 
just so that they can stay there, right? We want to maximize their productivity. So if they live nearby, they have food, they don't have to come all the way over here to get the food, then we're, we're rocking. And same with these guys, we want them to live here. So ideally we can get that going. Um, this is going to pay off in ma massive, massive dividends. Um, now we're going to want some income from the get-go. Ergo, <laughs> let's go ahead and place that hotel down. That'll give us a little bit of income, which will be a nice touch. I don't want it too close, but I want something like that ought to be fine. And a little bit further away, I don't mind. A little bit in, in, in island, yeah. Sure. Right there. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, we've now got our first hotel. And I'm going to want the hotel workers to have houses also. It's not going to be beautiful, but, you know, something just nearby-ish. Eh. Okay. And we'll need entertainment for our lovely hotel guests. Since we're starting out early, let's make it easy things. Like a pool. Ugh, no. See, the problem with shops is they require education. You can see the education required in the bottom right corner there. So, let's go with... Miniature Golf. That doesn't require an education. Hmm. Miniature golf pool. Marina doesn't require an education either. Let's go with Marina. That doesn't require any space either. Okay. A Marina. Oh, but that costs a lot of money. Miniature golf doesn't. Pool doesn't cost so much. Neither does the tennis court. Oh, uh, let's place a beach area down, actually. Um, oh. Ah, here we go, that's pleasant enough. It's for poor tourists, anyway. Okay, now we gotta prioritize. I want those three bunkhouses built immediately. And I want everybody to work here. Now you'll see them building these bunkhouses pretty quick. It's too bad about the not level ground. Okay, if we're building this to, what are they getting paid? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, one third, so we can set these to two. Either way, I'm hoping construction workers take it. Oh, construction worker lives in that one. Beauty. Come on, other construction workers, move in. Oh, get out. I don't want the military living in there. It's meant for construction workers, you fools. The military should have nicer houses than that. Oh. Also, one of these should switch to uh, tobacco. There you go. Good enough. Tobacco will make us some money. There we go. All right. Military and construction worker. Hmm. I 
guess... That should be pretty quick to build. We have to go to lists, all residents, education. Find the chick with a high school education, or college in this case, because she's going to be real unhappy being a farmer. So we're going to just come here and we're going to fire her. Her name is Paula Garcia. We find Paula Garcia. Shift click, fired. Watch this. She's going to show up working here any minute. Come on, Paula, don't be an idiot. Ugh. Let's try that again. Stop being an idiot. Holy Hannah. Oh, we've got tourists. Good, that's going to give us some income. Alright, let's see these two pop up. I want the hotel people to have uh, places to live. I'm bothered by the fact that she's not taking this. Like, very bothered. Paula Garcia, stop. Take the damn job. I don't care how much you don't want to work there. Work there. That's the last time I fire you. Oh, good, she finally took it. Okay. That doesn't usually take that. Oh my god, why'd she leave? What is her problem? Alright, well then, I'm gonna give it to the other one. Yolanda Cervantes. There you go, Yolanda's smart. She knows what's up. I get a load of foreign aid. There we go. Let's give those guys some place to live. See, this is why I like bunkhouses, because they come up quick. You can replace bunkhouses later, but seriously, the best thing ever. There we go. Now, the big thing we're going to want is a diplomatic ministry. Coming up pretty quick here. Um, I guess that sort of makes sense. Right outside the palace, just near the docks. That'll do. There you go, there's money coming in from that. We could probably boost this to at least double, see what that does.
Nice. Feel free to boost that to 15. Now the reason, this is wonderful, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to build, or not build, but uh, you can issue these edicts here, which uh, lets you uh, do cool things. And I want Russian development aid. Okay, we're gonna get it right away. Our comrades in Russia have offered to provide us with advisors and blueprints that will allow us to construct tenements and apartment complexes for half the usual cost. Issue the edict right away. Now here's another thing. Um, I'm gonna do the special building permit right away, actually. Um, which pads the cost of all new construction by 20% with 10% of the total cost going to El Presidente Swiss Retirement Fund. It might be too early for this, but I like it a lot, and it's a good way to quickly... Build up. Okay, hold off for a little bit, just until we get some more hotels, but that's a good way to uh, pad your Swiss bank account, which does count for score. Anyways, as you can see, some money is coming in. Now we're just going to plop down some tenements. Either that or country houses actually might be a better idea. They're pretty easy to build. I guess four? Four per farmer. And then... A tenement for the... For those guys. If that's how we want to roll. I definitely don't mind building a, a massive amount of uh, country houses. But a single tenement would be better. All right, let's let's build a single tenement. Cause that's how many? Sixteen families. Yeah. That looks nice right there. And then we'll want a couple of houses for the military people. Sure, we'll be able to plop some down around here. And any educated people, that sort of thing. And then, of course, we will want a church. And a clinic. These are kind of the big ones. Too soon for that anyways. <laughs> How about a scenic overlook? Somewhere yonder. The marina. And a pool. Right there looks nice. Alright, the tenement's almost done. Full speed ahead, El Capitan. It's very important to get all your people into houses right away. Or at least as soon as possible. Come on, lads. Work harder. 
Don't pay you guys to just slack off. Finish it. So close. Come on, a few more hammer strokes. Thank you. All right, and we're gonna do social security for the old people. It will be done. <laughs> uh oh. The people really don't like me. Job quality is down, liberty's down, living environment's okay, crime safety is okay, healthcare, entertainment, housing is the big one. As long as we can start getting everybody into decent housing. And that does mean switching off the bunk houses a bit. They're supposed to be temporary. Nobody wants to live in a bunkhouse. There we go. Man, I need more employees. Okay. Pump the military up to 15. Make it five per month. I'm trying to make it so only military folk can uh, can live in houses. All right, now we're talking. Presidente. I believe some of your people may be calling for an election next oh, year. Oh, that's not good. We don't want any elections this soon. At least we're getting some money. Boy. Um. Right away, Excellency. Could do a tax cut. It's not super expensive yet, but. Ugh. It's the equivalent of bribing your people. I don't know if enough people hate me for that though yet. That I should stoop so low. If we could get everyone living in houses, well, that would be incredible. But, houses are not cheap. I mean, I'd have to build, what, 30, 40 houses just to get everyone living in a house. I've never actually tried that before. That might not be bad. Oh, well, for God's sake, make that more expensive. Um. Maybe an apartment wouldn't hurt. Oh, coffee's worth more money now. Nice. No, let's do houses. I like houses. Alright, it looks like we can do elections. That's the election. I'm, I'm the green, red is my opponent, but that, that definitely looks positive. Um, I think if we just make more houses like I'm doing right here, that's going to go a long way in keeping people happy. Um, we're definitely going to build... <laughs> that's people dying because we don't have enough health clinics. Ergo, we're going to build a health clinic. And that's just life. And I'm going to build one as close as I can to everything. So I'm closer to this side because of the tenement and the houses. But a health clinic right there. 